Hello, Kirbyans! This is Dekoragus back from the longest delay I've had between an episode. I've been completely distracted lately, so after Adrian had messaged me, he's one of my subscribers, I decided to do some videos. So I updated to 0 0.19 and we restarted because everything was just too messy. So I had a rocket from actually, no not the previous update, but um, I've been de designing this one for a while and I found some really nice lands with this. And I thought for the re-re-kickstart, I'd go to the mine because that's where we kind of left off last time. So instead, I built this, and I think I'll start doing a mun base. So this is just using some poodle engines, uh, about, f I think it's, yes, five of them, with um, one of those little half rock max containers and four external containers each with two lander legs, a light, uh, external solar panels, and then I realized that I had died on power one time, so I decided to stick a couple solar panels every, um, around just to help uh, refuel my power, and yeah, I'm just kind of doing that, doodly doo do. This was actually originally a 32 minute episode all along because I had all these different things I was doing because I was trying to get screenshots for the thumbnail and yeah. So sorry about the lag. It actually isn't as bad as what it used to be um, like in older updates. Probably because the code's a little bit faster too now. And also um, since the game's bigger now it's harder on my PC. Because I'm just using uh, Dell Inspire, Inspire and N5110, which is basically a laptop. It's not a gaming PC or anything. It ha it's uh, using an i3 Intel and 6 gigs of RAM. So, it's not really too special, but it's a great laptop, saying from my views before, the old, old IBM laptops that don't even only have about 4 gigs of RAM and not even an Intel processor, just a low quality processor, but yeah. So basically, I, I always look up like this just to reduce lag, but at the game the game wasn't lagging, it was actually just the, um, whatchamacallit, Bandicam. So yeah, I just sped up this part, cause, and then uh, this is me just doing my tur grab return. I would have flown this manually, but I just prefer using the Ascent Autopilot. You can see in the moon in the background. My transfer stage right there. Always have a transfer stage. It's just so much more use. use. And yeah, so this is me fully rounded out at roughly 200 kilometers above orbit, or in orbit. And yeah, so this I skipped up to where I set up my node. This is great for, um, like, notice the second line. Um, it's actually next to the one that comes off your orbit you should always do that just in case you ran out of fuel so you can just drop off your kerbals and orbit around Kerbin or at least have it, save enough fuel if you don't have enough for landing but yeah so then I skip to where I'm burning into my orbit right now then I was just taking some pictures again for the screenshot and yeah this is quite nice it was quite nice of a landing. Yeah. So I'm going to start doing some more episodes with this mun base. I, I'm doing a lot of testing, so there will be maybe a, different, a bit of delay. Also, during the um, closer to June, that I won't be doing as many videos as what I had been doing bef just after Christmas break. For the reason that I have provincial achievement exams, which are a pain in the butt to do, but I really need to study for those and that and the, the, my first one will be next month and then kind of, and then this is actually what I skipped up to just to show you a cool little shot that I plan to use I could have gotten a better one but apparently you're not allowed to flip kerbals around on that but yeah alrighty so now I'm just doing my burns and using a tip by Jebediah I had tested this previously and oh, it is the best technique. So basically, you burn down to where you want to land, roughly. Always aim a little bit ahead of it, then behind it, because 
and then around 20,000 meters, you start burning at retrograde. I burn, I was burning way too early, but in the end, it turned out to be a really efficient landing. And then eventually you'll zero out, and then you go 90 degrees. And using MechJab, I can actually rapidly adjust my angle by down to the very degree of it by one degree which is very useful because I realized in the last minute that my retrograde was off by a bit as you can see it's starting to drift off from the center so what I did actually was I was frantically clicking away at the, um, at the PIT and the ACG to adjust it in time and yeah so uh, I just kind of, I'm just kind of doing my burns and that you can see my liquid fuel and how much I have left saying for the fact that I did my transfer burn on this, my other burns. Usually I would have more. I'd still have my transfer stage, actually, sorry. But I completely forgot how to do that. So now this is me showing you how close I am. And if you do what I do with burning at retrograde and that, and you see me adjusting my PAT and that, just quickly adjusting, making sure I zero up myself enough to come down. But yeah, this landing was one of the best ones I've done next to um, doing a Munpolo style mission. Which I'll show you my rocket for that, it's pretty cool in the other episode. But then I come down roughly at 0 0.5 meters a second. And yeah, so thanks for watching, Gecko Rockets, and out.